everyone. iOS 26, the public beta 2 just ended up coming out. And it's kind of interesting because this beta 2, it is a good step forward of getting a bit more stable, of getting a little bit better. But with that being said, there's still no way I would ever recommend going through and installing beta, you know, public beta 2 just yet. But with that being said, I still think there's a lot of capability that Apple kind of threw in within beta 2, which makes me excited about what Apple's going to throw in inside of beta 3. So when we kind of take a look at, you know, beta 3 for the most part, and we kind of take a look at what Apple could end up bringing, there's a couple of things that Apple could end up doing. Number one, there's probably going to be some more stability that's added within that update. So like we said in previous updates, I think Apple's going to go through, try to clean as many things out as they can. That's kind of the MO that Apple's kind of following right now. So they're going to try cleaning things out from beta one to beta two, at least from the de developer beta, like two to developer beta four, there was a massive speed improvement. So there was quite a bit of a speed increase that kind of happened within those updates. And I actually really enjoyed that. I thought that was a really nice thing that they actually ended up doing. I just really hope they focus more on the stability side. That way it's less glitchy when you're kind of swiping around and kind of doing different things like that. Now, on top of that, another important thing to keep in mind here too is the release cycle. We're not really too sure when Apple's going to be releasing that next version of software right? But because they just released beta two, not just a couple of days ago, I would imagine it's still probably going to be probably at least around two weeks until we see the next release of that next beta. So it could be less, it could be more. But if I kind of had a guess, I would say it's probably going to be around within like two or three weeks from now. And then we're probably going to be getting that update when it comes down to it from that side. So for the most part, we still have a couple of days left until there's probably some more news that comes out. But so far, that's pretty much what we know about iOS 26 public beta 3. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.